riding my bike on the Brazilian countryside. It's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. I'm tired, I'm sweaty, but this view keeps me going. This is really, really nice. Outside Bonito, just went to the Banheiros. Now just cruising along the countryside. Checking out the cows, they check out me. <laughs> with a name like Bonito, this place has a lot to live up to. But with waterfalls and rivers like this, it might be possible. Let's go see if the place they call beautiful lives up to its name. Come on. The small town of Bonito is tucked away in the southwestern state of Mato Grosso do Sul and has been one of the most recommended places I visit by Brazilian friends. So on my first day in town, I ventured out to go see what makes this place so popular. My first stop was the eco park of Porta da Ilha to take in the surrounding rivers and waterfalls and enjoy all of its natural beauty. From there I rode over to Balneiro do Sol for a little early afternoon fun in the sun. With the day quickly fading away, I made the journey back to my hotel to rest up and get ready for the night. As luck would have it, I was in town the same weekend as a very important annual event here in Bonito. So, I jumped on the back of a Molo taxi and made my way over to the Brazilian Rodeo. The next morning I was up early to visit the Rio de Prata Ecological Reserve where I take part in my most anticipated activity of the weekend. Thanks to the enormous amount of limestone in the ground around Bonito, the water passes through a natural filter that leaves the rivers to be some of the clearest and most transparent in the world. I was fortunate enough to reserve one of the limited daily spots to snorkel down the river and witness this stunning scene firsthand. From 
under the water to up in the air, after a few hours of floating down the river, we dried off and made our way to Buraco das Araras, aka the sinkhole of the macaws. This giant hole in the ground was once a covered cave, but when the roof collapsed many years ago, it became an incredible sanctuary for macaws and other wildlife. Wow! <laughs> After two full days of adventure, I spent my second and final night walking around downtown Bonito, where I called up some fellow travelers that I met earlier in the day to come meet me for a few shots of the locally brewed cachaça. Standing there, discussing the time of Bonito and reflecting on the past 48 hours, I realized that I barely scratched the surface on everything there is to see and do in the area. But I didn't need to stay long to understand how this place got its name. It truly is absolutely beautiful. Or should I say, Bonito.